today we will show you the basics of string so here we start from the first slide you can see so here actually what is SQL? SQL is a structured query language originally called SQL from structured language basically it is a query language for which is used to fetch data to post in uh, post data into the database and to update data into the database uh, for this we use the SQL SQL provides both data definition language and data manipulation language uh, we will uh, discuss this in detail uh, in our next videos. DBMS may provide high level approach, but SQL is important for tougher queries using host programming or web programming. You can use any programming language, um, and uh, with the help of any programmer, you can use SQL and uh, you can use uh, all the data manipulation activities through this language. The basic syntax for SQL is like. And there is a select statement after this you put the column names and after that the from keyword is used and then the table name is used you can put the where condition as well now, for example if you want to filter the uh, records based on the where clause uh, similarly sq is also a, uh, is not a case sensitive language you can use upper letter and small letter case in the query then uh, as we have told first of all we are uh, combining multiple uh, col columns in the select statement and uh, can also uh, join multiple tables through SQL as well okay and uh, as we have already discussed that where clause can also be put in the SQL statement okay uh, for example, uh, here we have an example. Example in this example, uh, up, we are selecting uh, two columns from a table name students. Okay, the first column name is last name, and the second column name is first name. Okay, so here it is like that. Uh, for example, like this. Here we are selecting last name, first name from students where class here equal to 2000 so here you can see we are uh, putting a filter over here like uh, we are putting a filter for the class here should only be 2014 uh, so class here cannot be in like 2015 because the statement uh, here is restricting the records for this 2014 okay like this see you can see last name first name only for the class year 2014 okay after that we can also select over here you can see in the example we are selecting last name first name from student table where city is equal to uh, federal Brooks okay it means that only this city uh, students are coming uh, with the last name and first name so city is one of the column of that students table for which we are doing the filtration okay like this golden flat sally this is all from the city this one okay after that one more example select last name first name state from student where city equal to this same here we have added one more column which is called state but we are using the same table and the same filtration statement where clause that means like this first name last name state and tx now you can see uh, one more example select last name first name state from student where city equal to this and state equal to texas it means that in this uh, statement we are putting two filter one is for the city and one is for the state but for this where statement both of the uh, statement should be uh, positive positive means the city should be uh, the records of those friend will be fetched where city is only this one and the state is Texas other records will not fetch and for the statement of uh, this uh, and keyword uh, it means that both the statements should be correct to fetch the data if one of the statement is uh, not correct then it will not execute it it will not fetch any record for you okay like this here you can see last name first name and state and uh, here you can see only the texas if there is no texas record 
it will not fetch any record okay in the table now uh, you can see here a st statement select static from student it means that you are fetching static means you are fetching all the records from the student table okay similarly get names of department having majors in a database here you can see we are only fetching departments from the majors table Okay, which is one of our table and database. Similarly, if we are fetching select distinct department from majors. Distinct is a keyword which is used uh, to make a group of uh, multiple same statements. For example, if there are multiple statements, uh, multiple records, can say uh, in our major table, then it will select only the uh, one time record. It is it is grouping into a single record. Similarly, uh, we can use the concept. There is a one concept of the primary key and the foreign key uh, in our databases. Okay. For example, here you can see a student table, and here you can see a faculty table. In the student table, you can see a ID, a student ID, which is a primary key for this table. Last name, first name, class year. These are all the columns of this student table. While in the faculty table, uh, you can see first name, last name, phone, email are all the columns of the faculty um, table. But in faculty ID is the primary key in the faculty table. So we for joining these two tables uh, to get the record, we need to uh, join them with this statement. We need to have advisor ID equal to faculty ID. Like uh, we are joining one primary key with the foreign key of the faculty table. Okay. Similarly, we are now connecting majors table with the department chairs. We have two tables over here, majors and faculty. In major table, the primary key is the major ID. While in faculty table, primary key is the faculty ID. For majors, faculty ID is the foreign key. Similarly, for faculty, major ID is the primary key like this. So for joining them, we need to have chair ID equal to faculty ID, which is chair ID over here and faculty ID is over here. In this table, we are seeing it as a chair ID and over here for joining, we are uh, joining with the uh, foreign key of the uh, faculty table. Okay. For example, like this, the student last name and wasn't last name. We are selecting student last name, faculty last name from student table and faculty table by joining both the primary and foreign key of both the tables. For example, uh, in advisor ID is in the student table and faculty ID is in the faculty table as seen like this. Seen like this, advisor ID in the student table. Okay. Similarly, we can also use aliasing. Aliasing is a technique in which we give the name uh, to a smaller name to some uh, table. For example, here we use uh, giving the name of student table as S and faculty table as S. So we are putting like this S dot last name, F dot last name. Okay, F means faculty table and S means student table. Like this, S dot last name, F dot last name, giving the records from the Similarly, we can also use intermediate table. Intermediate table uh, has both the uh, primary key of uh, the first table and uh, the primary key of the second table. For example, here you can see in student interest table, we have student ID from student table and interest ID from the interest table. Okay, and uh, we are joining like this student dot student ID equal to student interest dot student ID. And similarly, in student interest dot interest ID, this one with the interest dot interest ID. This is how we join the two tables which have many to many relationships. Like students have multiple interests, similarly, same interest belongs to multiple students. Similarly, we are connecting students with majors. Uh, here you can see student majors. In student major, you can see student ID. And similarly, in major table, there is a major ID. So this ID should be present in the intermediate table, which is major ID. Okay.